My name is Salman Abdullah, and I'm the Executive Vice President at Emirates Global Aluminium, based in Abu Dhabi. What is EGA all about? Emirates Global has its roots in Dubai, which started production in 1979. And uh, since then, it has been continuously growing and improving. Uh, we produce primary aluminium, so some people get mixed it up with uh, remelt products. No, we, we make primary aluminium, so right from the mine to the metal. And uh, at all stages, we are very specific in developing our people, developing all the technologies uh, that uh, we utilize, and speci specifically the smelting technology. Uh, we are very particular to make sure that we form the basis of industrialization in this country, but throughout our activities, at the mining, at transportation, receiving the material and producing the metal, it is done in a social and environmentally friendly and responsible manner. Can you walk us through about your products and services right now? So overall, uh, EGA has two sites, one uh, from 1979, which is based in Dubai, and one which is a more latest one based in Tawila, uh, Kizad area in Abu Dhabi. So we produce one of the purest uh, aluminum metals that one can find and we are more focused on value-added products which means a specific and high-end industry utilizes our, uh, our metal mm -hmm. and also the purity and the reliance uh, which they've been, uh, which we are known for. So Emirates Global Aluminium provides all the top end products in the aluminium industry. I wonder what kind of innovations can we do in, in the aluminium? I mean, Robert, as you know, aluminium has been around for a very long time yeah. and it has proven its worth. It's completely and fully recyclable. It does not right. erode away like steel. Uh, so if you make a steel structure, it erodes away after a while and it is quite heavy. Uh, given the new technologies, uh, you know, the automotive industry is moving big way into aluminium because it's lighter and at the end of the day, everybody is concerned how we generate and uh, promote to a circular economy. So a product made out of aluminium is fully re recyclable, it can be remelted and reused for generations to come. And that is the key point which gets me excited uh, working in an aluminum industry. Give us a little bit about what transpired uh, in your talk earlier. So this is a very important question. I mean, over the years, all aluminum industries have been developing their technology, being more and more efficient. We ourselves are one of the top technology providers. We have a full in-house team uh, which continuously develop the technology. That's make sure that uh, the amount of energy utilized so we can do more uh, with less. So once upon a time, 14 kilowatts uh, per ton uh, was a norm. Today we are moving to much lower numbers, so we are using much less energy to produce the same amount of metal. My speech was more about to do the end of life management of the production cells. At the end of its life, generally uh, in industry, these materials, when they are removed, they used to go to the landfill. Right. Today I'm very proud to inform you that not a single ounce of that material goes to landfill and it's fully wow. utilized in cement industry and that is the basis uh, where the circular economy really kicks in. And we have received recognition from the ministry who came to our plant and recognized us and all the partners uh, which have been helping us because we cannot do it alone. We need our partners, we need the municipalities, we need the regulators to come challenge us, question us, and then we, it's our job to satisfy them and make sure that this circular economy keeps moving. Fantastic news for the environment, for the community. Let's talk about efficiency about, about EGA. What are the efficiencies that you are pioneering? So there are two parts in the production of aluminium. It's a very energy intensive business. So we always go to the best technology provider for the generation of electricity. However, on the other side is the demand management. You know, so as I mentioned earlier, once upon a time, it used to be 13 point something kilowatt for one kilogram of aluminium. Today, our technology 
is uh, hitting the top number of 12 point something for producing the same kilogram of aluminium, which means the carbon footprint is much smaller, which means the fossil fuel requirements or fuel requirements in general have come down dramatically. Not only that, the CO2 footprint reduces. Right. Let me give you an example. Uh, industries, uh, aluminium producers who are still relying on coal and heavy oil would produce something like uh, 15 tons of CO2 equivalent for one ton of uh, metal, whereas our numbers are way below eight uh, tons of CO2 uh, for one ton of aluminium produced.